Facebook Marketplace has been on a bit of a dry streak lately. Until today, check this out. So I've been in the market for a late 90s, early 2000s Skidoo MXZ. You guys love them on the channel, and it's also one of my favorite sleds ever. Like this guy, but prices on almost all of them are ridiculous. Until I find this gem. 99 Skidoo MXZ 600, looks like it's in great shape, stored indoors, runs well, has reverse, and only 3,300 miles. He said he's willing to take $1,000 for it, give or take. All right, man, you sure you don't mind me filming? I don't mind that. Okay, I'm Jeremy. Hey, nice to meet you, man. So what's going on? I'm pretty mechanically inclined, although snowmobiles from 1999 aren't exactly my thing. I'm more used to troubleshooting things with batteries. Gotcha. So we're definitely not getting spark. I pulled the spark plugs out. I have four for this machine. Gotcha. Tried all four, nothing sparking. It kind of sucks. Um, it ran a month ago. Um, it's never not fired before. It started, honestly, it started a month ago, fine. I don't know what happened. Uh, let me grab my compression. Test. Yeah, go for it. I do have the certificate of origin for, for it with the VIN on it and stuff. You had many sleds before? No, this is my first one. I was going to see if I would like to ride it. I don't want to insult you in any way. No, I mean, honestly. Uh, would you take 400 for it? If you split it into five, I'll do it. I, w I could do four for it. And that, that would make me feel good going home. Yeah, I told you to start and it's not, so I'll, I'll, I'll do four. Okay. Um, One, two, three, four. All right, I believe there you. There you go, buddy. Hey, Thanks. appreciate it, man. Well, nice doing business with you. But we got our MXZ back. It's the day after picking this up. I stayed up way too late last night going to get this thing, but here it is in all its glory. We can show you now that we have daylight how beautiful this thing is. Again, this is 1999 Skidoo MXZ 600. No cracks in the plastics or the windshield. Suspension's great, both front and rear. Flawless seat that's actually off of an O2 Heritage Edition, so it's kind of rare. Track has a few chip studs, but still in pretty decent condition. Tunnel looks great underneath. Snow flap is extra flappy. Again, super low miles for the year. The gas cap isn't even busted. Overall, this sled is in really, really good shape. To me, it's worth more than $400 in parts, absolutely. Uh, but we're going to still try to get it going so we can have a nice running MXZ 600. You guys love the MXZs. I do too. One of my favorite sleds. I do have another 600 and I have a 700, which is buried over right there. Here's the other seat he gave me, which also does not have any rips on it. Here's the other track, which uh, is pretty used, but I mean, I, I, I don't know. If I wanted to slap it on there and just burn through it, I would. He had it registered riding in Maine last year, so I have high hopes. Today, we're diagnosing a no spark issue apparently i wasn't there when he was troubleshooting it and i honestly didn't spend too much time there so i see the plugs are not terrible Let's see how i'll do this that clicked in nice i don't think there's any issues with the uh, caps they click in real nice but there could be some problems with the wires which we're going to test in a second just barely bought a multimeter so the easiest way which you guys probably know is just to take one of your plugs out put the cap on it put it up against something metal and see if you see that nice blue flame okay so definitely no spark on that Okay, so this one, this spark plug is good. We just want to kind of give a visual of the whole sled. Check out all the wiring, because one wire chewed up could cause this whole issue. And that's definitely where mice like to hang out. They like to get into things like this, especially your air box. But when I was there, I was checking over, didn't see any mouse remnants, but still could have gotten in here and chewed up some wires earlier in its life and then uh, posed an issue today. I know there's some wires we can't really get to, which probably would be the ones. I'm thinking this is gonna be like a stator issue or uh, potentially the uh, multi-purpose electronic module here. This thing has an aftermarket can on it. That's interesting. That is definitely not stock. Nice weld job somebody did right there. It doesn't have a brand name stamped on it, which kind of worries me, but. Hit. Yeah. So we know we don't have spark. I checked the wires. I don't see any chew marks, nothing weird going on. I am a little concerned about the uh, that exhaust there, but whatever. I want to see if the headlight is going to come on when I pull it over, just to see. <laughs> nothing on the headlight. What I want to try next is I want to try these wires. I want to try our coil here. I'm going to take my uh, multimeter here and test our plug wires right here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So now we got to dive a little deeper. I'm thinking right down there is our voltage regulator. I'm thinking I might take that off and see if we can get a multimeter on that and check that because that would definitely cause our issue. What's funny is actually I have 
my other MXZ right there and I looked it up online and they have the exact same parts. So I could replace my, if I have to, my uh, voltage regulator, even the coil. Um, I could replace a stator. All from that sled that's buried in the snow over there, which is the OG MXZ. You guys probably remember uh, that thing. I've had some great memories with it, but eventually I will get it running. But if we need to snag some parts and throw it on this, I'm down to do that. One thing we should check is the kill switch because that could definitely be an issue. Looks like we got somebody messed with some things here. Perhaps they knew something was wrong before they sold it. But look at this. All right, that does not look original. But I have seen before with sleds that the uh, kill switch actually goes. Ah, okay. So look at this. Once it focuses here, look at this. Okay, so you see these little slices? It's interesting how they all have little slices in them, isn't it? Well, that is because somebody was diving in here, checking out some electrical stuff, and they sliced it so they can get their own multimeter on there to check for themselves. That's exactly what that is. Somebody knew, somebody knew something here. That is really funny. That, <laughs> we, that would've been awesome if I saw that there. And from what I see, that is definitely a stock voltage regulator. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna snag it out of our O2 MXZ 700 and slap it in. In the worst case, it doesn't work, we keep diagnosing. Yeah. It's gonna see the light of day again. We just got a bunch of snow. I haven't had time to unbury all the sleds. For you old school subscribers here, you know this sled very well. I had some good memories with this thing. She's still torn apart. I know, I, it's a real sad sight. I just, we started working on it and then time got away from me and here it sits. It's probably gonna need a whole new motor at this point, but. We can still fix it and we will someday, I promise you that. But what we're looking for is right down there. You see that? Should, yeah, there we go. So now we can take that one out of this, swap them out, and hopefully, just maybe, that'll solve our problem. And if it doesn't, we can at least rule that out. Now with the old in with the new. So now let's see if we have spark. We're gonna test it again the old fashioned way. Just put the plug up against something metal like a bolt. Oh, dude. Oh, did you hear that? It wanted to fire, I saw a spark actually myself, but it wanted to fire on that other cylinder that we have in. Oh my God, I'm pumped now. I think I actually wanted to fire on that one. Put these plugs in here and see what happens. Everybody stand back. It's about to get real. Give a half choke. Yeah, and it wants the fire. I think it's just, it's been sitting for a bit, so it's gonna take a little convincing, but we're on the right track. We'll shoot a little bit of liquid love here. We got some pre-mixed gasoline, just a little. Slap these back on. Oh, I'm so pumped we actually have spark now. God, I cannot believe that. That is just incredible to me. One little piece of voltage regulator, swapped it from our old MXZ, the OG. So now this has a donor part in it, but it's running top notch right now. I can't believe it. Drop me down in the comments, scale of one to 10, how good of a deal this was. 10 being the best, of course.